Alrighty, guys, so we are back in Adopt Me today, and y'all, as you all know, Christmas is coming up soon, and if you look at my house in Adopt Me, it is looking pretty plain, okay? I literally have not had any time to put up Christmas decorations in this house, and to be honest, y'all, I don't really know how to, okay? As far as I know, Adopt Me hasn't actually had, like, a, uh, a Christmas update yet, so there's still a bunch of the fall items, and... And, uh, that's a big no-go okay so today luckily what I did was I did some research on these Christmas adopt me building hacks and we're just gonna go ahead and try a couple of them out and hopefully I can make my house look a little bit more festive okay now before we get started guys I just want to remind y'all be sure to use star code hyper whenever you buy robux seriously best code in the game and I uh, love every single person that uses that star code anyways why do I have a pink couch here Okay, uh, from the looks of it, y'all, um, back a few months ago, I think, when Carrie, uh, pranked me, it turns out I forgot to change this house back to blue. Okay, so let me go ahead and fix that, and, uh, I guess we can just get started with the first hack. Alright, so the first thing in any type of a Christmas decoration, guys, is obviously the Christmas tree, okay? Now, uh, I want to actually go ahead and place it right here just because I think this is the best spot for it. So before I can do that, I will need to delete my uh, beautiful cabinets right here. So let me go ahead and clear all of that out. And uh, hopefully, guys, I'll be able to do this hack as best as I possibly can, okay? So first things first, let me go ahead and go to the barriers real quick because I think I might actually need to build it like on a barrier. I don't know, y'all, um, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, hold on, let me go ahead and try it without it real quick and see if this works, okay? Uh, so the way you do this Christmas tree, guys, is you essentially just get bricks like this and you place them like a tree. Pretty simple if I do say so myself, but uh, I mean, I, I, I saw a video on this and I'm thinking it looks good, okay? If I can do it right, it will look good. Now, I wanna make the Christmas tree actually pretty tall. So let me actually raise this up a little bit and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and keep going. I think this is a pretty decent height. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And if you guys have already decorated your house for the holidays, feel free to tweet me. You guys know my Twitter, it's at Dylan Hyper. But uh, am I doing this right, y'all? Um, I'm looking at this right now. And honestly, I cannot tell if this is right. I mean, it looks kind of right. I also could be very, very wrong here. I, I'm gonna paint it and we're, we're gonna see what happens. And just like that, guys, I think I got everything working and I'm not gonna lie, I think this looks pretty good. All we need to actually do is full on decorate the tree with some ornaments and some lights. Now, uh, the way you add ornaments onto the tree, guys, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is get a bunch of these bowls right here and you can honestly place them in like whatever order you want okay it's entirely up to you i'm just gonna go ahead and use red and yellow since the uh the tree is already green but uh, let me go ahead and add all of this right here let me go actually go ahead and make this one red and then make this one yellow and dude honestly i think that looks pretty good now uh, let me actually go ahead and spice it up one more level uh if you actually get a neon sign and you paint it uh yellow guys and you go over and you change the name of it and you just add a bunch of dots i think what you can do is you can turn this oh my gosh guys it literally works this literally works okay we got Christmas lights on the tree. Okay, I, I, I won't lie. I uh, I was getting a little nervous about this uh, about this Adopt Me building hack, but I am very, very happy it's, uh, it's working out, okay? I think this actually like makes my place look super, super festive. So we're gonna go ahead and place this light right there. I'm gonna move this ornament over here and boom. There you go, guys. We got our Christmas tree up. Time to add some more decorations. So for building hack number two, this one actually gets pretty easy. Since we have the Christmas tree up, guys, I think it's only fair for us to add some stockings, okay? So uh, the way you do this is all you need to do is grab a chopping board, and uh, I think I'm gonna place the stockings right here since it's like right by the stairs. I don't know, I like the location of it, so I think it should be fine. But you get two chopping boards and you place them kind of like a boot. And guys, literally all you do 
is you paint it red. Okay, boom, you got a big sock. And then uh, from that point on, uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab a sign. I think the sign that works the best with this is the modern sign. And you're gonna need to actually go and edit the text. And I think what you do is you make it that? I think, guys, I could be like way off base here, but I think this is what you do. I might actually need to make it a little bit bigger though, cause this isn't working the way I want it to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there like a, what what letter can I add here that like makes a long line? Okay, that wasn't supposed to get hashtagged. Um, There's a way to do this. Let me figure it out. So apparently I'm dumber than I thought. Uh, I tried to use uh four little hyphen things and uh, it didn't work, but three works. So there you guys have it. Boom, we got a, uh, we got a stocking right there. And uh, just to make it extra special, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually paint this little like neon sign right here. And uh, I'm just gonna make this the letter D for Dylan. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put that right on top of the stocking. And boom, I think this looks pretty good. Like I think so far we haven't done much, but the things that we have done look really, really good. I'm honestly, probably gonna add another stocking because I think I need to add one for Carrie. Otherwise, if she comes over to this house and sees that uh, she doesn't have a stocking, she might get mad at me. So let me go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll jump into the third building hack. So guys, I'm not gonna lie, uh, this next building hack is actually pretty cool. You guys can see though, I finished the carry stocking downstairs. Uh, I need to add something upstairs, okay? Now, luckily on the walls upstairs, I have a ton of space, but I think the place that I'm going to add the next hack, guys, is uh, obviously right in front of my room because my room in the house is the coolest room. I'm gonna add it right above the door. So let me actually go ahead and uh, zoom out real quick. This is how you make a gingerbread man inside Adopt Me, okay? First things first, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go over to the simple shapes and grab yourself a disc, okay? This right here is the head of the gingerbread man. And then uh, the rest of this, uh, I'm trying to remember if it's like bricks or if it's chopping boards. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use chopping boards just because I think they, uh, they look better. So uh, let me go ahead and just build out the body of the gingerbread man right here. But you guys can see it's actually not super, super difficult to do this. All you need to do is just get the shape right. And then from that point on, you are literally good to go, okay? Now, well, we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, add a little bit of like width to the gingerbread man. Let me go ahead and try to figure out how I'm gonna do this, guys. I wanna get the spacing right, but it's a little difficult. What if I just made it like this? Does this, does this look good? Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Guys, I got it, okay? It took me a second, but uh, luckily enough, your boy figured it out. So let me go ahead and add that right there. And then I think all I need to do now is add the feet on the gingerbread man and we should be good. I might actually remove that like middle part right there, but wait, you know what? It's not perfect, but neither are the gingerbreads I make in the stove. So it's good enough for me, okay? Let me go ahead and just paint this all so it matches the right gingerbread color that I want. I'm gonna go with this lighter brown just because the rest of my house is pretty light and uh, I think it'll fit a lot more, okay? Let me go ahead and just do all of that and then I think we should be good to go uh, in terms of like decorating, okay? Now, just like I decorated the other thing, guys, all you're gonna need are uh, some bowls for this and uh, you can make yourself a little ginger bread man okay i'm gonna go ahead and give him some uh some eyes um and then if i remember correctly gingerbread men have this like little little line on their uh on their shirt i i i, I don't know what color though i mean christmas colors are red and green so i think to play it safe we're just gonna go ahead and go with red and green because I don't want someone to come in here and think that uh, I don't know uh, how to do this, okay? This is this is how it's supposed to look in my head. Now, let me just add the last piece of detail here that's not super complicated. All you need to do is add a parentheses in this little uh, text thing, and then boom, guy. I got a smiling gingerbread. <laughs> Yo, this dude looks like he's like smirking because I didn't like straighten up the smile. You know what? Okay, if I look at it from here, guys, that does fit the aesthetic of my house. So we're just gonna roll with it. 
Now, guys, aside from all of these Christmas, you know, building hacks, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get these Christmas lights and I'm going to try to hang it everywhere uh, inside the house. But obviously, that's boring, uh, so I won't be doing that on camera. But uh, another little, like, hack I wanted to do, guys, I don't know if this one will actually work, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and test it out real quick. Basically, uh, I'm trying to make a, uh, like, a lollipop here, and uh, we're going to see... Uh, how this goes. Okay, basically I need uh, this like food pet bowl thing and then I'm gonna need a, uh, a Sign, uh, let me go ahead and grab the modern sign guys these signs pretty much work for like whatever you're trying to do So let me go ahead and change that and uh, we're gonna do a little at symbol because the thing is guys I want to make like a little swirl, but how am I gonna do this because you can't place the sign on the bowl Apparently I'm dumb. Okay, if you actually switch the food bowl backwards, that's how you actually do it, okay? Now, uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is what I was trying to do, guys. Pretty much what you need is uh, you're gonna need to place this little barrier here. I'm gonna try to get it right. It's a little difficult since part of this is like on the wall, but I'm gonna do my best and uh, we're gonna see if this is even like doable. Okay, hold on, guys. Now that I'm like messing with this, I don't know if this is actually possible or not, so we might need to... Uh, we might need to mess around with this, okay? This might need to actually go over here. And then, oh wait, maybe, maybe maybe like one more. And then I think I have to like get the sign and I need to place it like right in between the barrier and the bowl. A little complicated, but I think, hold on guys, I think I could do it. Did I do it? Did I? Dude, oh my God. Okay, you know what? It's not perfect, but I did it. Okay, you guys can see. You got the swirl right there. And then finally, guys, uh, in order to make this like a full on, you know, like swirly lollipop, you're gonna need to go ahead and grab this sign again and uh, do some more underlines. Now, how many, how many can I do before it hashtags me? Oh, dude, sick. Okay, I got a bunch of these. And then if I rotate this like that, oh my God, boom. We got ourselves a swirly lollipop on the pillar inside the house. Honestly, guys, I think this looks pretty good. I've done, what, one, two, three, four, like, Christmas building hacks. I'm sure there are a ton more that I can do. But, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys can decorate your house as, uh, well, probably more festive than mine is. I'm going to work on it off camera, though, so, uh, you know, hopefully next time it'll look better. But, guys, be sure to smash the like button. I'll see you all next time. Peace.